Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a nice, cool, windy 45 degrees out here in the land of milk and honey. Today we're we're going at it again with another 80 acres here up by the road. Today we're going to be diving into tile depth, and what the ideal depth is for laying our laterals. So come along and join us as we make connections this morning. Hopefully today we can teach you how why putting your laterals deeper isn't always better. There's a lot of factors to consider like the deeper you go and the more clay clumps you have on top of your pipe, the easier, the more likely that they're going to close up and compact over time and, and that's not going to allow water to seep into your tile obviously. As well as there's a minimum depth on when, where you want your laterals laid at because you got these farmers with the ripper shanks ripping through the ground about 18 inches deep you don't want them hitting your tile so follow along and join us as we try to teach you a couple things baby it's cold outside maybe it's cold outside First lateral of the day. It's about, oh, I'd say it's about three and a half foot deep from the top of the ground. And then you got your your, your top soils right here, your top soil line, you can see it very distinctively. And then it goes to like a clumpy, like a white clay almost with a bunch of fines in it. And then as you keep going down, you get real sandy like soil, like that's that's you can almost you can just poke your finger into the side of it and just carve it away so you can tell here that he didn't really have to worry about how deep he laid his lateral because it's just so sandy as you can see you can take a look at my spoil pile from digging this connection it's just all basically just fine fine sand with a few clumpy clay pockets in it but yeah, he didn't have to worry about depth with installing this lateral because it was just basically all sand. But however, that's not always the case, so hopefully we can show you a few more soil types today. He didn't have to worry about his depth here because as you can tell, all the way down to the pipe it's just all sand and water can percolate real nice through sand. It's a little bit harder through clay, but water can very easily get through sand and into our tile but yeah so as you can see here we just got done putting this double together and here is our top soil you can see it nice and dark nice good stuff as you can tell it's about oh foot foot and a half deep and then you start getting down into your your subsoil right here is a good example it's a little bit harder more clumpy but yeah and then once you get down so you got your topsoil and then you about foot and a half foot down you got your topsoily clay starting to mix into each other and then below that you got your your clay it's pretty hard and when we're when he's designing his fields he usually wants to be right right at this clay layer because you get too far below that then your pipe starts having problems taking in water so this is about somewhere in here you don't want to go any deeper than what we are here we're probably six inches below the clay clay line here but uh yeah this lateral is probably three and a half foot deep as you can see you got your clay your topsoily subsoil and then your topsoil so this is how deep you usually, we usually put our pipe when we're doing fields like this. 
and then obviously you got your main here and it can be however deep you need it to be usually if it's too deep we'll plow up a six right next to it that way we're not making deep deep connections but uh yeah you want it deep enough so that the tile plow can uh plow over it without hitting it obviously he was about oh he was about right here with it so that's about two to three inches over the main which is perfect because any lower than you start trying to plow through the main any higher than you have to put a coupler in and have a piece of pipe on your uh, lateral to get to your main but it looks like he got into some s sandy subsoil whenever he was plowing in his main looks pretty sandy as you can see there but as we get closer to that mud hole over there we can probably see we'll probably be able to tell a little bit difference in the soil and I'll show you how he lays his laterals different when it's in mucky conditions mucky soil like peat moss or just slabby slabby topsoil one of the two we're not sure we'll figure it out when we get there just uncovered our pipe here got it dug back found our main and we came across a different soil condition so I figured I'd show you here you can see our topsoil still up there like usual and then we got our topsoily clay mix a little bit below and then below that you can kind of see this little bit of a gravelly sand that's a stone there you can just see them in there there's another one just a little bit like a stony sandy clay i mean there's clumps of clay in there that's a rock i think there's a clump of clay but it's like a sandy gravelly clay layer underneath the top soily clay layer and about oh that's about a foot foot and a half from here to here and then you got your clay just your packed clay and then we're about six inches below the that still looking pretty good clearly you don't want your pipe too far under your clay because then you're gonna have problems with the clay eventually closing up but about four to six inches is okay because you're busting it up and it's it's not gonna compact nearly as easily as if there's a lot of clay on top of your pipe if that makes any sense or not hope it does but all in all the four inch lateral is about 30 inches deep I'll just go ahead and make this connection and then we'll get out of here Out here still tying in laterals we came across another soil type i'd like to indulge in as you can see we got our top soil here and then automatically it goes straight to this sandy sandy like not clay just sandy material i mean it's it's got a little clay in it maybe but it's just like sandy I don't know how to describe it but it goes all the way down to about right here right there and then it turns into clay which is about oh that far from our lateral maybe right there so that's about two and a half three inches which is perfect because then not only does the tile plow break up this small slither sliver of uh, clay for the water to percolate down through into the tile, but it's also not like a foot, foot and a half of just solid clay chunks sitting on top of your tile after the tile plow plowed through it, which is good because the less clay you have on top of your tile obviously means the more easier the tile is going to soak up the water and then it's going to go into your main obviously which then goes into the open ditch which then goes into a river or stream so yep it's pretty cool we're just going to give you a little bit of a uh, 
demonstration here. As you can see, the water is hitting the tile and it's not puddling up. As you can see, it's simply just going down through the little slits in the tile, percolating into the tile and then going into the tile main. See, if there wasn't a tile here, it would have just pooled up and stayed on the top of the dirt. But since there's a tile here, it just flowed into the uh, slits in the tile that you can see there and then entered the drainage system. It's pretty cool. So all in all, you want to be around the transition from subsoil, which is about right here, to clay, which is about right here. And as you can see, our tile is oh, that far below it, so that's pretty good. On average, we run our laterals about 30 inches deep, but it can depend on several other factors like slabby clay or pure sand. Here is just nice, clean, fluffy topsoil. It's not much subsoil to it. We ran it about 28 inches deep, as you can see. However, on your main, it can be anywhere from 6 to 9 feet, sometimes even 14 feet deep. It just depends on if you have to go through a hill to get to a low hole, or that's how deep the existing tiles were, or just depends on several other things, but usually if it's that deep, we'll run a sub-main up next to it, parallel to it, that way we don't have to make connections that deep. But your sub-main is, or main is typically deeper than your laterals just because your laterals are tying into your main and your main needs to be deeper in order for that to happen. As you can tell, we have made it to the big fish bowl. And the reason we call it that is, you can just tell by the way it is, that this just got drowned out this past spring by a whole lot of water and nothing grew here. So, hence the name the big fish bowl because it held water this spring but as you can see we got a lot more clay in the fish bowl than we did over there on the hill side and he you can see that he tried laying his lateral a little bit shallower to help with the fact that you don't want to lay your lateral deep when it's just solid clay like this but he couldn't help it all that much because well you got to keep in mind that the farmers ripper shanks have to be going about oh 14 to 16 inches deep as you can tell he has laid this tile about oh i don't know 24 to 28 inches deep and that's all that's all basically he could do to help it but you got your topsoil here and then after that it goes straight to clay hard compact solid clay but it should do the trick. Obviously you don't want too much clay on top of your pipe. I'd say that could be borderline too much. If it don't work, then we're gonna have to dig up our laterals, come back and put stone on top of them. But hopefully we don't have to do that. But yeah, this is the last lateral for the day. He's fueling up the plow up there. Sun's getting ready to go down. And I couldn't have gotten this far without Bubbles' help. He jumped in and started digging laterals with me. Really helped me out. So, kudos to him. But yeah, stick around and watch a Kyle Pile montage.
bet you guys spent the whole video thinking I had my tic-tac out peeing on the pipe. Nope, it was just this water bottle. 